Hey everyone. It's, I know it's only been four days, but I just needed a break. Yesterday I didn't sleep well and then I had to get up early in the morning to do blood work. So I'm going to take my break today and do my video. Um, tomorrow I got an appointment and then Thursday and Friday I'm going to try to do the swatches and other stuff that need to be done. So anyway, um, since I was so tired, I wanted to do the, the quartz, the clear quartz, the, I guess the crystal quartz, I think is what it's really called. And I, I swatched two of the colors on my hand to see which of these two colors is dominant. And this one is the dominant color, the silver. So I used my metallic Crayolon, Cryolon, Crayolin, whatever, uh, the metallic one uh, as a base color. So I took that silver color out of the, ooh, nice. And I'm putting that on my lid. I'm gonna take that, that pretty taupe color and put that in the crease. I really, I really like taupes a lot. I usually just do it how it is in the pan. Um, but I think in reality, I wouldn't wear it like that. I think I might, you know, maybe use a, a, a matte color for the for the crease contour color though starting to see uh, influencers wearing the metallics now all right now I'm gonna go into that pretty a neutral cream color there it, it's shimmery but it it didn't seem to like have a lot of color payoff so that's how I knew that it had to be the highlighting color. Like it was sheer, you know? So you could barely even tell that I have, that I have a crease color there. I think because it mixed with the silver. Alright, so let me clean up, finish my makeup, and I'll be right back. Hey everyone, so this is the finished look. Um, I mean, it isn't bad. It is meant to be more of a neutrally palette. You know, when all is said and done and you put the mascara and whatnot, you know, it, it looks nice. Um, Last week I used pearlescent pink. This week I used mellow wine for the blush, and uh, of course the there's really beautiful iridescent shimmer on the lips. Of course, at this time I used the white on my cheeks, and I used this on my nose, so it doesn't stand out as much. And the perfume, the perfume, this one so far has the nicest smell so far. Uh, unfortunately, amethyst is the one I don't like. Um, but this one seems to be the the strongest smelling one, nicest smelling one uh, so far. And I found out what it is about this that bugs the crap out of me. I thought it was alcohol, but I said they can't put alcohol, right? And I noticed that uh, I removed the ingredients when I opened the package. So I went online and it said it's infused with lavender. And I can't stand the smell of <laughs> lavender. I mean, it depends on how it's made. Um, you know, what its other scents it's mixed with. But that's what was bothering me so much was that lavender. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what I did for my face. So, anyway. But next week, I will, um, you know, I'll do the last one, the jade. 